Well, it's time to get a check of our weather with Olga Ospina. Olga, it looks like triple digits are in our future. Yes, they are, and actually in our present for some areas as well. I mean, incredible heat expected today as we experienced uh, yesterday also. There is a live look outside, some hazy skies. Uh, we'll see some sunshine for some areas just depending on where you are. A little further inland, some of those deserts are seeing plenty of sunshine. And I'll show you in just a moment, triple digit heat as well. Santa Monica right now, very mild out there. 69 degrees under partly cloudy skies with some light winds. But take a look, places like Lancaster, we are checking in at 103 degrees with plenty of sunshine. So we are seeing the full effect of our microclimates here in Southern California. So we will continue with the excessive heat warning. That includes the Antelope Valley, the Coachella Valley, the Santa Clarita Valley. Temperatures are well into the 100s. And then for the San Fernando Valley, as well as the Inland Empire, heat advisory continues also through through tonight for most areas as uh, this is the peak of the heat yesterday and today. This is uh, the brunt of it. So here's a look at the heat dangers that we could be experiencing today. Uh, very important to know about these heat related illnesses as we head especially towards later this afternoon. Very dangerous heat stroke. The symptoms, throbbing headache, no sweating, red hot, dry skin, as well as a rapid and strong pulse. You could even lose consciousness. So if you are exhibiting any of these symptoms or you see this on anybody, definitely get medical attention because that is very dangerous. And also uh, heat exhaustion, if not taken care of, that could turn into heat stroke. There is a check of those winds. So we are seeing some breezy conditions out through some areas, some double digit wind speeds. But as we head into later this afternoon and evening, we'll see those winds ramp up even more. And as we get those stronger winds combined with the hot and dry conditions, Yes, that spells elevated fire danger, and we're going to continue with that heat uh, with that area of high pressure to our north. In fact, the Pacific Northwest experiencing abnormally hot conditions, uh, setting plenty of records yesterday for places like Seattle and Portland in the 100s, running about 35 degrees above average. And this afternoon, they're expecting even hotter numbers. For us, we are also feeling those triple digits across our region. Aside from the triple digit heat and the elevated fire weather conditions, we have some changes as we head towards the middle of the week. So we're going to be cooling things down slightly. However, we're going to be adding some humidity to the mix, so it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to bring us also a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. We'll have more details on that as well as your seven day forecast in just a few minutes. Serene, back to you.